what would be the cards that you would ban and unban? So you have to pick one to unban and one to ban. Okay, so what's currently banned? I guess I need to I need to pull that. You, up you should bring up that list because it's him just reading it off. You're not gonna. That's yeah, gonna stink. Yeah. yeah. He should, and then we can read it off to the mic. I got it. Well, for the viewers at home, I'm gonna pop the modern ban list up for you here. I know what I would ban. Um, I think there's a, a couple of cards I might unban. What's the new match going to be, guys? We don't know yet. Okay, I'm choosing and it's going to be burn. Uh, sure. We've made some modifications that might weaken me to burn, so... Wobby Weave? No, I actually put it, it in when it says burn now. Oh, okay. Good job. So, um, actually, what's the most efficient way for me to get this up here? And so far... Capture? Add window. Yeah, this one weave is it's quite one of the two wobby weaves. And that one's spirits. That's definitely World of Warcraft. You guys didn't really start playing that. I don't see anything. Snitches get snitches. Stitches get snitches. Okay. Alright, so the list is up here on the screen. Um, I didn't realize this list was so long. Exactly, that's why I suggested that it get pulled up. Like, holy moly, this is Huge. Yep. Okay. So, if it was me, it would be unban Stoneforge Mystic, and then ban Mox Opal. And so, I think Stoneforge Mystic is a fun and fair card in Modern, and it is not... Okay, well, so, caveat to that, Stoneforge is a fun and fair card in Modern when Jitae is not there. Correct. Now, if GTA was legal, I think it'd be a completely different story, and GTA would completely change the format. Whereas Stoneforge Mystic by itself, I think, is fine. Batter Skull and Sword of Fire and Ice are not too powerful for modern. And there's tons of answers for them now. And every modern deck packs a ton of removal, too. Or it's going to combo right past it, and it doesn't even matter anyway. Uh, I think every deck out there has a way to remove an artifact now. Yes, or remove Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, but like the problem is also Stoneforge searching and just getting it to your hand. Yeah, so there's... but it doesn't make it cast batter score any faster if it's not in play. Right, but like with like sort of fire and ice per se. Yeah, I mean removing the the mystic doesn't really slow that down, but it, the st the sword is easily removed or shut down now, okay. as is batter skull. And so oh, I would you've ban Mox Opal because token? I don't like fast mana being in modern. I would ban Ancient Stirrings. Okay. And unban? Um, so Stoneforge, in my opinion, is also something that could be unbanned, but I would need to see the list to see if there's anything else. If it was me guessing what you would say if you were seeing the list, it would be Birthing Pod. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Birthing Pod's a safe unban. Like, it's a good card, and it makes good decks, but I really just don't think it was all that oppressive. And like you said, more decks are playing answers to artifacts than ever. Colagon's Command is in the format and makes Birthing Pod a much more difficult game to play. Yeah. And unbanning the one card alone through Birthing Pod creates a new deck in the our format. Yeah. And I, I think it's just like Jace. People would be nanners for it at first and be like, oh my god, this is insane. And then realize it didn't really change all that much. I mean, um, the Court of Calling slash Collected Company decks might still just be better. As well as that uh, uh, Eldritch Evolution deck. Yeah. I mean, it, it does plus Birthing Pod. And Wookie, what would you choose? I would unban, looking at this, uh, Big for Time. Because there's a, there's a lot of artifacts. Or not artifacts, but yeah. Uh, enough Grigard hate out and how common it is against decks that are already thriving that I think it could it could be okay to, to hang out mm -hmm. uh, I disagree it's an, it's an instant so I guess it gets touched by the spell in, in the in the blue on blue matchups um, yeah you're you're Grabbing only, you're just grabbing two cards. I consider Treasure Cruise also, but that's... I don't think either should be unbanned. 
Kind of surprised nobody here said Death Rite Shaman. Well, it took its own grave. And then what would you ban? What I ban? Banning starter, huh? Yeah. I honestly don't know what I would ban. I mean, the banning of Deathrite Shaman did kill Green Black Midrange. I'm trying to think of a card that's that, that hits multiple decks. Not not just trying to hit off one deck. That's kind of and, what. And, was... and, and, and your, your guys' choices being Stirrings and Mox Opal achieves that. Because Mox Opal kills KCI and also kills Tron. Or not Tron, that stupid deck that you're playing, Hard Scales. Right. Um, Ancient Stirrings, of course, hits Tron and hits KCI and also hits Hardened Scales, also. Yeah. Yep. So Hardens. Or and Ancient Lantern Stirrings. Control. And Lantern Control. Okay. Uh, Blood Moon is not as prevalent, so I don't think that's something that would even be worth considering anymore. No. Same thing with Bridge. Like, Bridge was a big deal, and people thought Bridge was going to get banned, and then it just completely disappeared. And, um, Chalice is workaroundable. Maybe EE. Banning EE. Or Leyline of the Void. I mean, if you just want to be like the, the, the Leylines are. <laughs> yeah, I was. Let's 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 bring a dove card back and get rid of a graveyard. Wait, I think wait. if you're gonna ban leyline of the void, you should just ban all the leylines in general. Really? Yes. Pre uh, yeah, turn zero mechanics are are kind of crap. And you, the it, the if it's in your opening hand, reveal it and put it into play. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. Yeah, I guess I guess if that's if that's part of a thing then we could ban also is a like a range of cards. I still feel like Dick Through Time is palatable. Not preordained. If I was to pick one of the cantrips I'd be I'd pick Ponder. Yeah. That's one. So you wouldn't want to un or what was your unban, Dustin? Um, yeah, it, it can be Rising Pod. Or it'd be Stoneforge. Yeah. Well, yeah, or Death Right Shaman. Or Second Sunrise. Nah. Are I'll you sure? Unplugged. We still have everything to build that deck. Yeah, I know. If Second Sunrise got unbanned, I know what you'd be taking to the GP. <laughs> Get on that hype train. I can keep this. Me too. Hmm. <sighs> Misty. It's Pass less that turn. you would be on that hype train and it's more I would make you be on that hype train. I did have a lot of practice with that deck. Yes. Hey, Your hey, turn. guess what, Spectre? It doesn't matter what you want to play. You're playing second sunrise combo. <laughs> what? You just brewed a completely new deck? Shock. With a ban card? What? what? I mean... Theoretically, its spiritual successor is KCI. Mm -hmm. And your turn. Correct that. Mm -hmm. Do you think you could be a KCI player? I mean, I probably could. We'd have to go get $500 worth of Mox Opals, though. <laughs> God, that's ridiculous. Even after a reprint. Actually, how much is Mox Opal? Like, take a loan against my 401k to buy Mox Opals. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Yeah, sounds not worth it in the end of all. Overall, encompassing the scope of life, probably not. <clears throat> if I, once I'm invested fully and I can borrow 3000 or $4,000 from it, I mean, I'm tempted to, like, no, borrow from smarter. my 401k to buy a uh, collection and then just In response to you swinging. Cells. Like, it's a thought. I would do it. We'll push it. Uh, TCG player. Oh. When it's coming at you? Yeah. Okay. We've got Mox Opal. How much is Mox Opal? <coughs> 100 bucks. 
Unless yeah. you want the invocation mox opals, then they're three hundred bucks. Get out of here. Let's get there. No. Full Let's plate. Invocation mox opals. Full deck of invocation cards. Uh. Masterpiece invocations. Whoop. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Bloom that marsh. Goyf. Uh, One, two, three. Dang it. Pass that turn. That's it. Okay. Draw a card. Goif. Oh my god. Yep. Swing three. Sweet chariot. Take three. Pass the turn. Hold you in the turn. Yeah. Good thing there's already an instant in there. Draw. Right. Vantage. Yep. Three as well. Sorcery, yep. One, two, three. Go. Up to four. Whoop, whoop. <sighs> Collective brutality, two modes. Uh. You discard a card. You lose two life, I gain two life. I mean, you choose the... You Yeah, you could lose an instant or sorcery that I choose. Oh, I could read. Yeah, a response. Helix, you. Boo, boo, boo. Boo, boo. And then you either get boo. Shard Volley or Lightning Bolt. Shard Volley is an instant, and I have to sacrifice a mountain. Or sacrifice a land. Yeah. To play it. it costs two more. Yeah. Okay. Eat it, shard ball. Swing an eight. Yeah. Pass turn. Dang. Yeah, I want heap advantage. Oh, is that some orange juice tapped. I hear? Yeah. It's orange <sighs> juice time! I want an answer. Pretty sure I'm just dead. I can't draw enough against you. That uh, brutality did it. That Much. double goif did it. That too. <laughs> double goif did it. Yep. All with two lands. Hashtag and double goif. my balls. Yep. Woo! Staffs and I needed the land! <laughs> Colossus. I mean, Kalidus is really good against Burn, too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, my choice was either drop Scoos, drop a Snap, or drop Kalidus for the Brutality. Zoinks. Yeah, it's like, mm, I could get to the lands for the others, but I think Snaps would do me best as well as Kalidus, so those stay. Would you say that that was a Snappy win? Uh, I think it was a Goyfy win. But that's you putting on the sunglasses and jabbing yourself in the eye with one of the one of the arms of a Tarmogoyf? N no, like when you're, you 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 did the you did the one liner, but as you're trying to like throw the sunglasses on your face, you just jack and you get yourself in the eye. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I love this image. This is a beautiful imagery. Those can go away. That comes out. Double goif? What does it mean? Alright, so here comes game two. Game two versus burn. Game two versus burn. Alright, partner. Go 
this one he will take out? I don't know. You don't play that deck. Do you want some assistance with it? I think I get with it. I mean, we can talk it over like we talked about doing. True. Yeah. I mean, here, we'll do it this way. So these counter squalls are definitely coming in. Yes. These inquis these uh, thought Caesars are definitely coming out. Probably one assassin's trophy to bring that fourth fatal push in. Hashtag atrophy. No, atrophy. Atrophy? Yes. Okay. So we're probably gonna take out skull cracks, spikes, same places, because those are slow. Why would you take out skull crack against a deck that can gain life? Just the scoozes. And, and Kalidus and Collective Brutality. Yeah. Kalidus has, has to lifelink. Has yeah. to hit somebody. Skullcrack is path, definitely a card you want. in. Rest in pieces are in. Basically turn off four of your creatures and your snaps. I'd bring in Helix too. And a Boris Trime and a Risk Factor. Just have more instant interaction. So Helix is already, are all already in this. Uh, there should be one helix on the board. Is there one? Yeah. Should be three main, one board. Oh, there's four main. Yep, they're all main. And one Boros Charm on the sideboard. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, I feel like the Eidolons still belong in here. I personally am not a fan of Eidolon in this matchup. But, I don't know. I could be wrong about that. I don't think I value Eidolon correctly. I, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out how to play Eidolon properly, and I think that's, like, you empty your hand first as the bird player, then you play Eidolon's last. And you just have to be more surgical with your top decks and when you play them. I guess that makes sense. Because so if you play the Eidolon too early, you're just going to ding yourself just as hard. And my opponent has bigger creatures than, than what mine are. Yeah. And Swing Blaze assumes I have a land drop to be able to hit for three. I don't know. I just feel like Soul Crack belongs when I want to keep in. Eh. Hmm. Yeah. Because you gotta think, anytime you can use Skullcrack to prevent him from gaining any life, it That's is dealing extra damage, damage to me. Plus that yeah. much damage. So if you can successfully stop him from gaining two life off of a brutality by responding with it, then you just did five damage for two mana, which is what your deck really wants. So am I taking out more creatures? Uh, I mean, so he's gonna try and blank your removal. I mean, you can try blanking it no, before I have by playing the creatures. Take out. Before. Like, I honestly, I'm not sure, but I know Skullcrack feels like it's a card that you want against a deck with Kalidus and Collective Brutality and Scavengers. And I mean, maybe less creatures is good because then you can keep Goyf smaller. You can also keep him from growing scavenging these against you by denying targets. Grim Lava Mancer doesn't seem especially good against a deck where almost every creature is bigger than the two damage it can deal. Especially when you're bringing in Rest in Peace. Yeah, so I would cut Grim Lava Mancer. That feels like a good choice. Where are you at? The two or just the one? Back in the deck. Teach and Wookie to play burn. Put the ins and outs. And I, mean, I need it. <laughs> we all should be getting as familiar with these decks as we possibly can, too. So I actually have one more slot to bring in. I'm getting rid of all the blazes. Uh, that's another crack. Yep. Would you happen to say blaze it? I guess we're not saying blaze it. Nope, this is a family friendly environment. Well, I mean, we're taking the blaze. There's no 420 shenanigans going on here. 
I mean, we definitely don't any of us do any of that. Only Spectre tried it, didn't care for it. Yeah, not a fan. Spectre was smart and didn't waste his time. Only one person has invited me. What? There's only been one person who has invited me to try it. Really? Yes. Was that me? Nope. Was it your old roommate? You would never guess who it is because I don't think you've ever met him. Oh, okay. Well, that works. <laughs> Darren knows who it is because Darren has met him. Ah, oh, the plot thickens. What? One of your PC gaming friends, probably. No. Did hmm. somebody that we've worked with. Well, that's okay. We'll get on to a new topic. Yep. None of us are super into pot. Like, it was okay when I was Joel? having a bunch of stomach pain. But... No, but he was there when Joel was there. Michael. Don't accidentally dox no. people, guys. I mean, a first name is not going to get people very far. That's uh, pretty fair. And... Longish, longish hair, and is always kind of wet and slick. No, military guy. Interesting. Well, he left the military, but he was in the military. I believe he was in the navy, as well, like Justin. Sail the seven seas. Oh, that's just not. Eh, whatever. Without what his name being said, it's not coming to me. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. He drove a Volkswagen. See, now we're getting into lots more information, guys. Conversation's over. So how about that burn deck? Still shuffling. No, I'm done. Slaps the burn deck on the side. This baby can hold so many three damage for one mana spells. It's not 12 bolt. Is that a deck? Yes. Why? I mean, I mean they've wizard. actually gone above and beyond 12 bolt. We need wizard's lightning and wizards on the deck. I think like people are going crazy and doing like 18 bolt. Well, that sounds like burn to me. Fact, if you could play 40 lightning bolts and 20 lands, it would be the best deck in modern. <laughs> Who can count to 20 the fastest? Counting by threes. Oh my goodness. This is... Like, it's a turn four kill in 96% of games. It's kind of hard to put or to keep up with that. Can't keep this in. I think this is too slow to keep as well. You want to talk about slow? Because... So check this out. Four, I got the perfect mountains. lands. Yeah. But then two trackers. I go from a scoos. Well, Pretty sure this is too slow. I because I have nothing awful. to grow my goif. I have nothing to yeah. grow my scoos. You have a land, maybe an instant for mine. But... Yeah, but I have no like interaction That's it, with though. you. Yep. True enough. Bone six. You drop a goblin guide things? in turn one and. Oh man, not the mulligans. Mulligans. On a scale of one to mulligan, how mulligan are you mulligan? <laughs> mulligan. Going to six. Six cards remaining. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ban from Switch. <laughs> we haven't done anything bannable offense. Get the old rip. Riff bolt. Yep, riff, riff bolt the shovel. Shovel bolt. <laughs> Deal three shuffles worth of damage to your cards. Oh god. <laughs> so much shuffle. Would you say that you are shuffling every day? No. This is worse. Almost keepable. Yeah, I'll take this. We'll see what happens. Burner. Ooh, to top. Burner. Right? Yep. Oh. This. One. Boop. Go. Draw. 
Oh. Okay. Uh, you may not idle on. <coughs> and pass you the turn. Went up. Uh, combat. Yep. Now. One. Spend. Yep. Let's call Tyron. Go. Bloop. Be doop. Catacomb. Crack the comb. I hope I don't regret this. You regret nothing. Burgers. So is Tron still your boogeyman, you think? Oh, yeah. Did I just completely bypass it? Must have. Is it in your hand? No, it's definitely not in my hand. Boop. I guess Boop. is it a boogeyman or a burger man? Yep. Creature. Land. Sorcery. Uh, yep. Pass the turn. Your turn. That's it. Your library for a basic land, put it by tap. Set of keep. Trigger, cast. One, two, three. Yep. Prop trigger. One, two. Helix you. Two One, one two, three. Helix your face. Set. Oh, nailed it. Play for the go. How does it feel? It'd be a poor life. Hmm? Like a Tarmogoyf top decked? That's pretty good. Ooh, Ooh you played an instant, didn't you? Maybe it's an enchantment. Oh. Bro, enchantment that creature. Oh, so he was not a three. He was a four five before. Woo! <laughs> and then we're going to see our ambitions. Gotcha. <laughs> Stupid creatures from Theros Block and their enchantment creature types. How big is that boy? It is a 5-6. Five, 5-6? Six. Five, six? <laughs> wow. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about Goyf's power level? It's over 4-5! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? Uh, over 4-5? Okay, so I've got a stupid question for you guys. Pastor. Who'd win in a fight? Seventeen. Are we ready for this? No. One Punch Man or Superman? Yeah, I accept you. I'm lying. I want that on the bottom. One Punch Man. Because he could just punch Superman into whatever he wanted to. Well... I haven't read the like the second series. I've only seen the first season. 
and he seems like limitless in his in his strength. Yeah, I just finished watching season one. It's so good. Yeah. Right. Is there more than one season? No, season two's coming out soon though. So they say. Not tap. Not keep. Not so wait for Sword Art season Draw three. Pass. Oh, Ooh. but the next Sword Art Online Progressive novel comes out November thirteenth. I'm really excited about that. Swing and five. No walks. Okay, you take five. Well, pass the turn. What's that? I'll keep. Draw a card. First factor. Counter squall. I lose two. And that was cross trigger. Yep. Go to combat. Yep. Attack. Assassin's trophy. Okay. Which is yes. And you're go. Hooray. Two turn clock. Did you just say two Tarmogoyf? I said two turn clock. Oh, okay. Basically a two two turn clock. Squoif. Tarm? Huh? Ah. Squoif. 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 But basically a scavenger goose. Swing in five. Take it. Pass you the turn. Alright. Untap. Keep. Raw. Jump start. Discarding. Uh, no. And response exile it? Sorry, in the stack. With it. So, yeah, I can't do that. Um, I have to let you draw. Yeah. Yeah, I have to let you draw because yep. I can't take four. Draw three cards. But yeah, that's fine because you can't do anything about this. Play Mountain. Yep. Crack it. Uh, I take three. One, two, three. There. I have two bodies in there, but that'll shrink. All right. Oh, yeah, Risk Factor, you weren't jump starting, were you? Oh, yes. yes. That was so that's that's that exiled now. Yeah. You can jump start Risk Factor, too? Yep. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, end of your turn, exile your hasty boy. Yep. I gain a life. Yep, I flubbed that one. Probably should have just a lot of stuff. Draw. That one's dead. Yeah. All right. So we beat burn. We beat burn. Was anyone surprised by that? That was pretty good. Yeah. That's also. Awesome. That's my top deck. These have been sitting there. Oh, Quit else in the guide. Okay. Oh, Elix. Elix. So Burn struggles with Tarmogoyf. Oh. Eh, I feel, feel like there's a Burn deck out there that that's like still red white, but also runs four path in the main. Hmm. I can see that being good. All right. So we did it. What's up next? Uh, 